or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I want to start off by saying I hope you guys had a great, great, great Thanksgiving. Today for me is actually currently Thanksgiving. I'm cooking in the kitchen right now, but I really wanted to get a video in for you guys because I know you guys are going to be off for the next couple days for Thanksgiving. So I really hope that you had lots of good quality time with your family, with your friends, eating good food, listening to music, playing games, whatever you do. It's a season of just stepping back and sitting in gratitude and thankfulness for you know the people that are in your life and support you and encourage you and all of the things that you have all the things that you've been blessed with so i definitely am feeling extra thankful for you guys extra thankful for my family my friends thankful for this whole year everything that me and juan have been able to accomplish and get and thrive in so I'm feeling really grateful today. I hope you guys were able to enjoy your Thanksgiving and are still enjoying and basking in all of the blessings that you've had this year. So yes, got that little spiel out of the way. Today I wanted to make a video because I got some new pieces of furniture which I'm really, really excited about. Me and Juan, we've been in the house for about two months now, a month and a half. I can't even keep track anymore. And at the beginning, we got all of our staples, like our bed, our bar stools, everything that we needed. And we were gonna hold off on our couches until we felt a little bit more comfortable, kinda knew what we wanted in the space. We ordered them about a month ago and they finally came in yesterday and I'm so, so, so excited to share them with you. We also got these chairs for the bedroom. Originally, they were gonna be for the bedroom, but I think I'm gonna leave them in the living room. I'm gonna show you guys because I really, really, really wanna know your thoughts. I already posted them on my Instagram story yesterday, so if you guys missed out on it, make sure you follow my Instagram because Instagram always sees it first on my stories. Um, I'll make sure to leave my Instagram link down below. It's a VC spot, V-C-S-S-P-O-T. But I seriously love them. I will say right now, my home is looking very like creamy and neutral, as you can tell by the background. But I swear, like I'm, uh, I'm eventually going to add more color to it. But right now, I've literally just been getting all of like the big pieces because the smaller pieces are going to be based off of like the bigger, more expensive pieces. I don't want to base my pieces on like a rug or a carpet so there's still a lot more plans that i have for the house um even though right now it's looking very beige creamy tan neutral it's nowhere where i want it to be by any means but again i'm so blessed to have even bought everything that i have and i'm really excited to share them with you guys make sure you guys subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss out on any of my home content i do a lot of like my grocery hauls cooking videos and really just anything that's going on in my life just real life i try to make my channel what i'm actually doing versus doing things for the camera so i hope you guys kind of relate to it kind of appreciate it like it i don't know let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any ideas of what you would like for me to do um but yeah so far it's literally just been my daily real what i'm actually doing life so we're gonna start off in the bedroom i actually want to show you everything that i have in my room just because i don't know if i've done that before i know i've done hauls um but my room is starting to really come together that i kind of just want to break down everything i have and then i'll go show you my couches that i have i'll show you my bar stools i'll just show you everything that's like pieces of furniture if you guys are also kind of on the same boat needing inspiration for different areas of your house but yes let's get started with my bedroom okay guys so this is my bedroom again i'm sorry that it looks so creamy um but i'm in love so i have my two nightstands which i believe i have shown you guys they're from crate and barrel my bed i believe i got it from wayfair all of my bedding is from crate and barrel besides the pillows and the pumpkin those are from target um this blanket is also from crate and barrel the two new little sofa chairs are from West Elm. These came in yesterday and I'm in love. I what what I bought them for was for my bedroom because we wanted a little lounge area because we don't like being on the bed all the time that we're watching TV. Um, but looking at them, I'm not sure if they're too big. And when they were delivered, we put them in the living room. 
um which i'll show you guys as well i'll move them to show you guys what i mean um but i put them in the living room with the setup that i want eventually and i actually love these sofa chairs in the living room so i might actually just leave them over there and find different chairs for the bedroom because i feel like they are a little bit bulky and as you can see i still have a lot of space but i feel like one day i'm eventually gonna want some kind of media console over here so i might just end up getting some kind of bench or smaller chairs we'll have to see but they're so so cute i love the material they kind of remind me of like a sherpa material but they're so so cozy they're really big me and Juan last night we were actually both on one chair just cuddling um and we both fit they're so big so comfortable um obviously I got them yesterday so we're gonna have to see how they hold up but I'm seriously so in love they, they also do spin all the way around they rotate 360 and it's very very smooth but you also at the bottom you don't see it so it's hidden very very pretty that was actually like the biggest thing i wanted in my chairs was i wanted them to spin um i'm not sure why especially considering i wanted them in the bedroom um but i just wanted them to be able to spin and then in the living room it's perfect i'll show you guys that here in a little bit but i wanted to highlight my nightstands so I got two, I actually got one of them delivered two days ago. So funny story or kind of disturbing story actually. I ordered two a few months ago before we even moved in cause I wanted to have them before we moved in. So they both came in. We had them for a few weeks before we ended up moving in so we just left them in my mom's garage and what ended up happening was when we moved in we opened the box and we noticed a bunch of tiny little holes and i wish i would have taken pictures but i didn't there were a bunch of holes like all over the top of one of the nightstands and the other one was fine so the holes had little dust particles on top um kind of like if you ever see like an ant come out from the dirt like it leaves a little like pile of dirt it looked exactly like that but with like the wood shavings from the actual nightstand um and i thought it was weird but we ended up wiping it off the holes didn't bother me so i was like okay whatever so then the next morning i woke up and i saw new holes on them so obviously there was some kind of like bug or parasite in it that was like actually eating at the nightstand and it was so disturbing i ended up calling crate and barrel and they obviously like came to my house picked up the damaged one and then they delivered this to me two days ago so it only took about a month and a half to get one they originally told me i wasn't going to get it until january um and it's the end of november so they were faster than i thought but i was so disturbed to see all those holes so for the lot for like about a month and a half we only had that one nightstand and we finally have this second one so what i really liked about them besides obviously the color is beautiful it's a beautiful oak let me go to the other side and it's this beautiful oaky kind of grayish color i love the detail it does have the double drawers and they do soft close which was such a great feature i did notice there was this hole on the front um which it doesn't really bother me i know it's not from a bug because the last time i saw it like it literally had a bunch of holes and it had like piles of wood so there is a hole which obviously isn't really ideal but we've waited so long for this nightstand that it doesn't really bother me and it's also the one closest to the window so no one's even gonna see it so there was a hole which is kind of a bummer but it's okay and then it soft closes like i said and then they're also chargeable or they're also powered so they have a power strip and you can plug in two usbs and then two of like the plugins which is awesome because you don't have to worry about seeing wires on the top of your nightstand it can be nice clean organized um so yeah i really love the nightstands they're really big i'm not sure what the dimensions are but i'll make sure to leave it linked down below that way you, that way you guys can check it out if you're interested but they're so so pretty 
And then my bed, I actually have gotten a few questions about my bed on Instagram and I've answered everybody, but I just wanted to make it known on YouTube if you guys were just curious. Um, also having the same questions as other people. So this one is the Tilly upholstered bed from Wayfair. I seriously, seriously love it so much. I got the king size. It's so big, so comfortable. It looks exactly how it looked online and the color was very, very accurate. I forget exactly what color I have. I'll make sure to leave it in the description down below. Um, but I was worried it was gonna be white and I didn't want it to be white. I wanted it to be more of a creamy color. And that it is. You can see there is a little bit of like a speckled detail on there. It did take us a few hours to put it together, but you only have to put a bed together once. So once you have it fixed or once you have it together, um, you don't have to worry about it any longer. Um, but it's beautiful. It's perfect. I love how the sides have like that little baseboard. I will say for this bed, you will need a box spring. So you can see there's like a box spring on the bottom and then the mattress. I'm so in love with my bedroom and it, I feel like it looks even better in person. I feel like on camera, everything kind of looks cramped and smushed, but I feel like in person, everything just looks so proportionate. The only thing I'm a little bit iffy about is these sofa chairs, but I know that if I don't end up leaving them here, I at least love them in the living room. So either way, these are such a beautiful piece and I'm really glad that I got them. I will say they are a little bit splurgy and there were some dupes that I saw kind of floating around Instagram but when I went to go purchase these the dupes were actually like out of stock and I didn't want to wait for them to come in stock because I really just wanted to have somewhere to sit. Um, so there are dupes. I'll try to see if I can link a dupe for you guys if you guys are interested. But these were a little bit pricey. Um, but I know I'm going to use these for years and years and years to come. Um, so yeah. Let's go to the living room now. I wanted to show you guys my, my counter stools before we get to the couches. These are so, so pretty. You guys have seen me sit on these in my past videos when I've done my hauls. Um, I love these chairs. They're so, so comfortable. They kind of remind me of like a beach vibe. They're so, so pretty. I love the woven material on there. I love the shade and they're not all perfect. Like as you can see, there are blemishes on there, but I feel like that just gives it so much more character, beauty. Um, they're all different, but I do love the shade of the legs. I love the attention to detail. They are comfortable. Before I got them, I was worried that I was gonna feel like anytime I sat that these were gonna be like breaking but that is not the case at all when I first got them I will say though the first few times you sit on them they do make like a little cracking noise but literally once you break them in they're perfect they don't make that noise anymore they're so comfortable um, I would definitely recommend these if you guys are looking for this kind of like vibe um, these I would highly 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 recommend they are made so beautifully very high quality and I do not feel like these are going to give up on me at any time at all. They're great, work great, great price, um, and they fit very well in my kitchen as you can see. I've gotten a lot of compliments on these. Are you guys ready to see the sofa? Oh my gosh. Here it is. I did move the two accent chairs to the living room. That way you guys could see what I'm seeing. They are so beautiful. They fit the space so well. Like I said, they swivel. So it's perfect, you know, having an open space. If someone's over here on the chair, then there's some people over here at the counter. Everyone can kind of communicate. It's really nice, very open. And like I said, these are big, so it definitely fits the living room well because we do have a pretty big living room. But these sofas, oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. I feel like on camera, they look like they're, they're white, but they're actually like a very pretty cream color so beautiful and the bottom it's like a wood laminate it's not exactly hardwood um but it looks like wood so it's very very pretty doesn't match the floor which that's not what i wanted anyway 
Um, eventually I am going to have an area rug here, but taking it one step at a time. Guys, if you ever buy a house or build a house, don't feel like you need to be in a rush to furnish it. Take your time. Don't go into debt. Don't max out all your credit cards. It's so, so easy to compare yourself to people on Instagram or TikTok or even your friends in real life, like seeing where they're at in their life. Don't feel rushed. Take your time. You don't know their situation. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking my time, even though we didn't have couches um, for like two months of being here. You know, we may do, you know, we sat on the we sat at the island, we sat on our bed, we stood, but we didn't put ourselves in a bad situation. We got exactly what we wanted, um, and here we are. It Everyone goes at their own pace. The only thing I will say about the couches, though, is they are kind of stiff right now. We definitely have to break them in. I've been going like this all morning. Like, they're so stiff right now. They're not the most comfy, I'm just being honest, um, but we do just have to break them in. I know they're gonna soften over time, um, but right now they just need a lot of wear and tear. A lot of times sofa companies, they just pack it all in. Um, that way, like as it does loosen up over time, it has a lot of material and it can stay high quality. So I'm definitely gonna be working my knees into there, jumping on it, bouncing on it, make sure my guests bounce on it. Just kidding, we'll see. I might, I might tell my guests to start bouncing on the couch just to break it in for me, but they're so pretty. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade of cream. Again, let me know, you guys, what you think about these being in the living room um, or if they should be in the room. I personally love them in the living room. I can always find something else for a room. I was thinking maybe like a bench or smaller chairs. If you guys have any ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments down below or um, go to my Instagram, send me a DM um, because I'm really lost okay guys so that's actually it for today i'm not sure if i was helpful or inspirational at all um but i was really really excited to share the new pieces that i got for the house i am seriously just loving shopping for the house seeing what will work well um inspiration pictures so i really just love sharing everything that i find and i'm just feeling so thankful and blessed to even be in this position um so i hope that you guys don't feel like i'm bragging and i hope that you guys are just really enjoying the journey of me making my house a home but yeah i'm really really excited to see what you guys think about the couches the pieces of furniture that i have and please don't forget to let me know your comments on if you think i should leave these sofas in the living room or if i should put them in the bedroom i'm honestly so 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 torn so guys come through for me i really really need your advice um but yeah again i hope you guys had such a great thanksgiving make sure you subscribe don't leave without not subscribing because we need to grow the family guys i'm so excited to be rolling out new content for you guys all the time i'm trying to post at least once a week like i'm holding myself to it but sometimes it's so so hard like right now it's literally thanksgiving morning and I already made one dish. I'm waiting to make the next one. So in between dishes, I'm like, I need to film. So yeah, anyways, now I'm rambling. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, um, weekend. I hope you guys have a great Christmas, even though Christmas is in about a month. I don't know what I'm saying. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your weekend, great rest of your week, whatever day you're watching this. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.